All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Math Lesson 115. We are still talking more geometry today. Get ready for area part two. So remember, to find the area of a square or rectangle, we remember the formula. A equals L times W. Area equals length times width. We've been on that for a while. If we had to find out the area of this rectangle here, the width is 10 feet, the length is 2 feet, so the area would be 20 square feet. Over here, the length is 3 feet, the width is another 3 feet of this square. So this area would be... So length times width is the formula to find the area of rectangles or squares. But what happens if you have a different shape like a hexagon? You would then have to go and cut it into separate rectangles and squares, find the two or more areas, and add them together. If the area of this rectangle was 20 square feet, and the area of this square was 9 more square feet after we cut it, you would add the two areas together, 20 square feet plus 9 more square feet, and get a total square footage of, the secret is you have to go and cut the shapes into rectangles and squares and add the areas together. So one more time, if we have a shape that's not a square or a rectangle, you want to cut the hexagon into two separate rectangles, find the area of both, and then add the two areas together. So let's see, I think I'm gonna go and cut this guy right along here, right? So I'll have a square with three centimeters on each side and another rectangle that's seven centimeters by six centimeters. So this width is seven, this length is 6. Length times width, 6 times 7 is going to give us a grand total of 42 square centimeters. Down over here, 3 centimeters times another 3 centimeters. So our area of this square here is 9 square centimeters. The area of this rectangle over here is 42 square centimeters. The last step to do is add them both together, which gives us a grand total of 51 square centimeters. Now, it really doesn't matter which direction you cut. So let's try it again, and I want to show you one different thing here. Last time, we cut it into a square right here. Well, what would happen if I went and made my cut line right along here? I'm not going to use the 7 centimeters. It got cut. My length that I'm going to use now is 6 centimeters, and my width that I'm going to use is right here, 4 centimeters. So 6 centimeters times 4 centimeters, that's going to give you 24 square centimeters. Now for this rectangle over here, I have a length of 9 centimeters, and I'm going to use a width of 3 centimeters. So 3 centimeters times 9 centimeters, that'll give you 27 square centimeters. The final step, let's go and add these two. 24 plus 27 more, hey, that's going to give us 51 square centimeters, which wasn't that the same area even though I cut it vertically instead of horizontally, it doesn't matter which way you cut. The answer will still be the same. All right, let's try it again. The first step, figure out where you're going to cut. And what we just said, it really doesn't matter where. think I'm going to go and cut right here into one longer rectangle and another smaller rectangle. Pretty much the trickiest part about that is remembering which number to use. You want to use the entire length. So for this rectangle, I'll start with 12 centimeters 
times it by the entire width, which would be 2 centimeters. 12 centimeters times 2 centimeters, length times width. That's going to give us 24 square centimeters. Let's try it here. Am I going to use the 7? No, the 7 measures this whole segment right here, which we just went and cut. I want to use the length of 3 centimeters and the entire width of 4 centimeters. 3 times 4, that's going to give us 12 square centimeters. Our last step, we just have to take 12 square centimeters for this rectangle, add it on to the 24 square centimeters of the other rectangle, and that gives us a grand total of 36 square centimeters. All right, let's try this one. Again, let's start with a cut. It really doesn't matter whether it's horizontal or vertical. You just want to get a cut into rectangles and squares so you can use the formula A equals length times width. So, I have a rectangle here. I have a rectangle here. Can we figure out what numbers we're going to use? Looks to me like this length right now is going to be one foot. The width we need to multiply it by is going to be 8 feet. So, pretty easy. 8 feet times 1 foot, that's going to give us a grand total of 8 square feet. Let's try to figure out here, what am I using for this length? Am I going to use 11 feet or 12 feet? Well, this segment right here that was 12 feet, it got cut right here, right? Once you have a cut line going on it, you can't use it. The whole length that we need is right here at 11 feet. So I'm going to use 11 feet for my length, 9 feet for my width. 9 times 11, that's going to give us a grand total of 99 square feet. So 99 square feet plus another 8 more square feet, that's going to give us... 107 square feet. So check out this one. The concept is the same, but it's got one extra little step. You still want to go and get it cut into squares and rectangles, only now we're going to have to actually have to do it three times, right? And sometimes we're going to have problems where they're not going to tell you how many squares or rectangles you just want to know that to find the area of a rectangle is length times width. So as long as you always get it cut into rectangles, you can always add all the pieces together. So now that I have it cut into three separate rectangles, let's go and start figuring out which segments we're using. I have a length right here of six centimeters. And the first width I'm going to multiply it is 3 centimeters, which is going to give us 18 square centimeters. Kind of a trickier one, trying to find the length right here. You don't have a number at all, do you? But what you do have is this entire length is 14 and this length right here is 4. So 4 plus what is going to give us 14? Hopefully you had that figured out that that would be 10 centimeters. So you're going to use this length of 10 centimeters, multiply it by this width of 3 centimeters, and that's going to give you 30 square centimeters. And then the final step, you're going to take this entire length of 14, multiply it by this width of 2, 2 times 14. Hey, that's going to give you 28 square centimeters. Then the final step, you're going to go 18 plus 30 plus 28 more for a grand total of 76 square centimeters. So that, my friends, is the end. You are definitely going to want to scratch a piece of paper for the Socrative quiz this morning, and good luck.